So I had heard Pete was making Lone Survivor, and I would occasionally see him in the gym in Venice Beach because um, we both lived. Uh, he lived in like Westwood or Santa Monica, but he liked to work out at Gold's Gym, and I would see him in there. So he mentioned that he was making Lone Survivor, and and so I saw him at like I don't know some sort of party, and he was with a friend, and I went up to him. And I was like, "What's up with Lone Survivor, man?" And and he was like you know how there's like NFL movie and like, you know, it's like, you can't play like a linebacker. <laughs> and it was like, I mean, it was like a really like bow down nerd. You know what I mean? I was like, I was like, Oh, okay. Okay. And I just, I don't know. I just, I, I, I had read the book and I really was moved by the book. So I wrote Pete um, a letter being like, you know, how I felt about the project, what, you know, how I wanted to be a part of it. And my agent was like, I don't know. He's, he, he, he just doesn't see you for this. And I was like, just, just come on. And I wrote, I think I wrote him a second letter. Wow. And at one point he wrote back to me, like show up at gold's early tomorrow. And I was like, what time? And he didn't write back. And I was like, oh, man, this is one of those like <laughs> psychological psych ops experiments or something. So I woke up at 4 a.m. because Gold's Gym opened at like 6 or 530. And I was like waiting at the gym as it opened. And this guy, T.R. Goodman, who was the like coach trainer guy, shows up and is like, oh, what are you doing here? And I was like, oh, well, Pete told me to show up here early. He's like, he started laughing. He's like, come back in like two hours. So I came back and, uh, were you pumping by they, the way? Were you pumping up? Well, or are you just waiting for him? Like, Holy shit. I want, what, what the hell is this about? I was just like ready to go, I, you know? And, and basically they put me through this really hard workout that day. At Gold's gym. Um, I, I, I want to separate a really hard workout for an actor from like Navy SEAL training. It's really not comparable in any way <laughs> at all. But for me, it was like probably the hardest I'd ever had to work out. And so they didn't give me the part. Pete just said, you have to show up here every day for like the next few months. I'm not giving you the role because I genuinely don't know if you can do it. And I'm not going to disrespect the SEALs and this guy's family by giving an actor that's like a punk if he can't do it. Because I was a little bit, you know, I wasn't really in great shape. Um. And so it was every day from six to usually six a.m. to like eleven. Oh God! Or eleven thirty, I would finish, and it would be usually like ninety minutes of weightlifting, and then it would be two back-to-back -back hours of cardio. So I would either do like an hour on the bike, and then an hour jog, or like an hour on the ergometer, which is the arm machine. An hour of that is insane, by the way. Did he have somebody like watching you and doing these workouts with you, or? Did he leave and just assume you were doing this? When I would do the weights, I was training with the with the workout crew. So it would the guys that I was training with and a couple of girls, most of the guys were like major league baseball players or hockey players that were off season that were like trying to stay in top level shape. It was it was really like a performance weight training camp. It's called Pro Camp for a reason in in Venice. And uh I definitely got in the best shape of my life. And at a certain, at certain points, it was really hard because it was every day for so many hours just on my body. And I was like, man, this is intense. And, and they, even for what pro camp was, they made sure that what I was doing was always harder than what everybody else was doing. So we would be doing like, okay, let's say we did 90 minutes of weights. They would be like, okay you have to do jumping jacks between your weight sets. So while everyone else is waiting at the machine to do it, you have to do the jumping jacks or like pop squats or like side step. Mm. you know, it, it was stuff like that. It would constantly be like ratching it up. And, uh, and I just sort of just was super focused and determined and I really wanted to be there and I wanted to be in the film and I got into really good shape and, uh, it was funny. I didn't know this at the time, but apparently TR 
told Peter Berg after the fact that I had trained harder than anyone he had ever had other than Chris Chelios, who was an NHL. NHL Stanley Cup champion, Hall of Famer, Chicago Blackhawks. I know Chelly, fucking best. Yeah, apparently TR, who's like the man, he told Pete that. He never told me that, but he told Pete that. Did you call your agents and say, so I don't have this role, but I have to work out for the next couple of months to find out if I do so you can't really work out a deal because there's no deal to be had until Pete gives the word? When would- yeah, I mean, it was kind of nerve wracking in that way, because if I would if I would like lag on any of the workouts or if I was doing, um, you know, like an interval, like long intervals or circuits, we did a lot of circuits. If I would fall behind. They would be like, oh, we're going to tell Pete that he's not going to hire you. <laughs> no, they did and not. It, they said yeah, that. No, and they were it serious? Was really like hardcore like that. You know, and he's like, Pete has told me to give an honest assessment. And if you, if you fail at this, I will not, like, you are not going to do this. I mean, were you pissed? Were you like, did you kind of laugh it off? Or were you like, fuck? Oh, I mean, I was frustrated. I mean, I remember one day I was on the leg press and they just kept stacking more 45s on the leg press to where like I genuinely couldn't do it. Like it was like, it was crazy. And at one point I was like, fuck you motherfucker. Like I stood up and like chewed these guys out and like walked off. And all the like hockey guys were like, oh my gosh, like this is so but like I think that they were trying to like get Break me you. to like yeah. I mean I think that that's so he's like all right. Now that we've got this anger, let's channel it. You know what I mean? It was like all this sensei, uh, you know, like karate kid kind of stuff with with TR. And when was the but, moment I mean, that he called you, that he said, you got it? And how had that happen? Do you remember that? It might have almost been like a text message, like, <laughs> you're in or something like that. You know, it was like, 